Yes, I see three lobbyists here. Perlac is a lobbyist, registered state That's lobbyist. Correct. I am registered as a lobbyist in the state of Hawaii. Uh, that is for a technical reason. This well, is my talk to a state legislator. He knows that I represent Monsanto. Good. And if you have six lobby Monsanto had Hawaii? six lobbyists here. There's another one here. I'm asking him to stand up. I'll point him out. Alan Takemoto, he's a lobbyist. Registered lobbyist for Monsanto. To be registered as a lobbyist, you, anyone you. can be registered well, as a lobbyist. All you have to do is fill out a form. And if you, you have make, to. If you make you have any to. donations as a lobbyist or any gifts that you give to... I didn't ask you why, I just asked you to identify. Yeah. Cindy Goldstein, registered state lobbyist. You go to neighborhood board meetings and say you're just a member of the community and GMOs are good. You're a registered state lobbyist. Your job is to influence legislators. Don't stand up and give this kind of bullshit report. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes or no? I support the program that's at the Federal Drug Administration. They can label foods at any time. They can label foods at any time. The labels on the, the Federal Drug Administration says that labels are for nutritional purposes and for safety purposes. Safety. On labels, you will see where it stipulates milk products, tree nut products, peanuts, meat, because people have allergies. Who's Michael Taylor? Those labels are there for a reason. There have been no instances of allergies. So, no. Go ahead. The answer is no. no. The answer is no. Move no. on. No. You have in place with the question, in case you have a problem with a crop, what do you have in place in Hawaii? That was the question. The right. question was about monoculture. How, how will you safeguard from it spreading to other crops that do not have the GM deal in it? How do you do that? So, Oh, my great uncle was the Go to the next question. Will you burn it? Will you cover it up? I, I'm going to get some reaction. <laughs> hey, you're live now. Tell me, what is your reaction to this? Um, I am really good at washing off uh, lies and bollocks, so I feel fabulous, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was great to sit in the front and just send them aloha. The lady from Pioneer got so Cindy mad. Goldstein. She yeah. was so mad, and we were like smiling at her, and we are like, aloha. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, we love you. We're like, I love you, you know. Um, you know, we blew our kiss. She was like, Stop being disrespectful. Like, you know, like and so, I, I blew her a kiss and Aubrey actually, at the same time, we were both like, and we both came in, you know, and then we made a little heart together. And we were like, stop disrespecting me. We're like, man, stop being off her neck. Stop disrespecting me. We're like, we're sending you a little heart. Think I do. She was mad. We got to send her some serious low hugs. At least we, we didn't have to breathe the... Uh, oh, thank God, this time. This time we don't have to. I mean, but this was not... She was so heavy too. You had to keep breathing your your yeah. heart yeah. in there. Oh yeah, we were like. <laughs> and you know, I hear some people were actually videotaping the uh, presentation. In fact, Whoa. several I'm people sure have. Some Jedi's up in here. Yeah, yeah you know, so I think we can. I think we got good. all of it pretty much. Oh, good, good. Huh? Yeah, transparency sure, sure. is always good. Oh. Um, yeah. We just pulled all of them that we up. really do pray for all of them because we really do. Yeah, we do. Hey, it's great. I want to thank you guys for coming. Really, it really helps, and then bringing people out. And it's always good to see you. It's always good, actually, to see your photographs. Here. But in, in person is good too. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. What did you think about today? What did you? Any I kind just of heard company? a lot of propaganda, just spouting out bullshit without any real factual basis. And uh, they didn't really answer any questions that we had. And uh, there's there's many things that this community. Could uh, you know, they're they're being directly affected by 
yeah. and uh, you know they know the the real facts behind what's happening, and, and these guys didn't trust any of that stuff. Thanks for coming out. Anybody, you you know a thing or two about uh, growing <laughs> stuff. What, what what's your opinion on it? They were very brave to come out. <laughs> um, I would have been shitting my pants. Yeah, I think they were. It's a very hostile room. Um, I think there's a lot of fear around, and rightly so. Um, and I, I, I gotta commend them for making the effort to come out. And, Actually, yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, totally. Yeah, surprised. exactly. That's why I'm here. Yeah, um, I really did want to hear what they had to say. Um, and I think um, at least two of the three panelists, in my, my opinion, um, seem to genuinely believe that the work that they were doing is for the greater good. I see. Um, and so. Now you you know quite a bit about the subject. Did you hear anything that surprised you in terms of information or anything? I found it interesting the facts and some of the data that they chose to present. And one thing that came out of tonight was um, uh, from the panel was that people have a tendency to pick and choose which studies That's and correct. which science to believe in to back up their point of view. Right. And the same can be said for the panel. For them, yeah. That's exactly what was going on. Right. Um, and it was also very interesting to see the, uh, the authorities or the regulatory agencies that were right. cited as supporting some of the studies right. that had come out to validate the data. And if we dig deeper and we look at you know, some of the revolving doors that go on between the corporation and the regulatory agencies. FDA and Monsanto, for instance. Yeah, then that sort of tells a deeper story. Um, but ultimately, I think we all have to believe that well, for me, I believe that the vast majority of people genuinely want to make a positive difference in the world. Right. And I think the so. feeling that I got tonight was that at least two of the people up there genuinely believe that they want to make a positive difference. You know, you you're a lot have a better view of people in humanity than I do. But, you know, I'm an old guy and I. Have, you you know. could, maybe you can call it strategic naivety. <laughs> well, that's I a good word for it. In a fear -based world <laughs> yeah. I firmly believe that we can actively create the type of world that we want to see. Um, I believe so that. this type of dialogue is really important. Yeah. Um, and it's tough for logic and science, cold hard science, to talk to emotion. And it, 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 it only serves to bring me fear. Right. So I think I commend them on the effort and the attempt to, to reach out and. and um, uh, try to answer some of the questions, um, and I think it's just important for each of us to do our own research and make our own decisions based on the facts that we're making. The deeper we'll take them, you know, the truth always brings out in the end. Truly a noble attitude. Thank you much. You're, and your name is? My name is Matt. Matt. Thank you. This is the uh, shirt of the evening. I'm going to show you a shirt because I think that says it pretty much. Yeah. Thank you.